This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. The Explore 8000 system from Draeger provides maximum respiratory protection without increased breathing resistance, even during long periods of time. Depending on the system configuration, it can also offer protection for the head, face, including eyes, and hearing. The system consists of the following components. Draeger Explore 8500 or 8700 powered air purifying respirator, battery, particle, gas, or combination filter, different carrying options like the Explore 8000 standard belt, standard or flexible hose, and face or headpiece, for example hood, helmet, face shield, or mask. In the following, we will show you how to prepare the powered air purifying respirator system for use, how to don the face and headpieces, and what to consider after use. Outside the hazardous area, select the system components according to your required protection level and area of application. After selection, carry out a visual and functional check. Check the charging status of the battery by pressing the blue button. The charging status is indicated by the green flashing LED display. To insert the battery, hold it in your hand so that the blue locking button is facing upwards and the contacts are facing the unit. Place the battery in the battery compartment and press until it audibly clicks into place. To insert a filter, first remove the splash guard from the unit by pressing the blue filter locking button. Check the rubber seal for damage. When inserting a particle filter, place it into the splash guard lid and insert both at an angle into the unit. Fold the splash guard lid with the filter towards the device until the lid audibly clicks into place. If you use a gas or combination filter, insert the filter at an angle into the unit. The color marking on the inside of the gas or combination filter points downward towards the device. Slip the splash guard lid over it. When correctly positioned, the lid snaps into place with an audible click. Take the harness and button the comfort pad onto the strap if needed. To connect the carrying system to the unit, the markings on the connecting plate and at the receiving location of the unit will help you. Position the connecting plate with the top edge at an angle onto the unit. The markings must each match. Now push in the connecting plate until it audibly clicks into place on the device. If necessary, use the strap extension or an alternative carrying system, such as the shoulder strap. To connect the breathing hose, plug the hose connector onto the coupling of the device. Slightly turn the hose connector until it audibly clicks into place. To wear the device, adjust the carrying system to the approximately required circumference. Then put on the carrying system and close the buckle. The device is located on the back of the user. Tighten the strap. If necessary, it is possible to use strap clips to fix protruding ends. To switch on the unit, turn it towards the front if necessary. Press the green button on the control panel. After switching on, the device performs a self-test. The indicator lights on the control panel light up green if the device operates properly. The unit automatically detects which headpiece is connected and sets the lowest possible volume flow for this headpiece. You can adjust the volume flow yourself as well with the plus minus keys on the control panel. There are three flow levels. If the device does not operate properly or warnings are triggered, there is a fault. This fault must be eliminated before using the device. For further information, please see the instructions for use. Adjust the support ring to your size using the quick adjustment system. 
press with your thumb and forefinger into the notches to help with the adjustment. The numbers to adjust the head circumference correspond to the head circumference in centimeters. Furthermore, five levels are available for adjusting the head height, with level one being the smallest and level five being the largest setting. Connect the breathing hose. Make sure that the blower unit is switched on and that the breathing air supply is thus ensured. Now put the hood on using the fitting loops. With the long hood, you can tuck the bottom layer of the bib into the protective clothing if desired. The support ring of the hood rests on the forehead and runs around the head. The face seal runs under the chin, above the ears and along the back of the head. Make sure that the support ring is located completely within the sealing area. The system is now ready for use. Adjust the helmet to your head size. There are four fastening points, which you can adjust in height and width. Connect the breathing hose. Make sure that the blower unit is switched on and that the breathing air supply is thus ensured. Stretch the sealing cuff of the helmet with your hands and put it on. You can tighten the helmet at the back using the ratchet. Pull the sealing cuff under your chin and tighten the strap until the sealing cuff fits around your neck. To adjust the air outlet, open the visor and select your setting via the blue flap at the front of the helmet, then close the visor. The system is now ready for use. Depending on the application, select a helmet or a bump cap for combination with the hood. Adjust the selected headpiece to your head size. There are four attachment points, which you can adjust in height and width. Pull the hood over the helmet shell or bump cap, so that the front is facing the visor of the hood. Also, pull the hood over the hose connection. Attach the visor flaps to the helmet shell or bump cap by hooking the flaps onto the mounting clips and click it into place on the other side. Connect the breathing hose. Make sure that the blower unit is switched on and that the breathing air supply is thus ensured. Put on the helmet shell or bump cap. You can tighten the helmet at the back using the ratchet. Pull the sealing cuff under your chin and tighten the strap until the sealing cuff fits around your neck. If required, insert the inner bib into your protective clothing and pull the outer bib over it. Adjust the headband to your head size. If necessary, also adjust the distance between the helmet and the headband. To do this, remove both rear pivot bolts from the slots on the headband. Then press them into the chosen slots until they can be heard audibly clicking into place. Connect the breathing hose. Make sure that the blower unit is switched on and that the breathing air supply is thus ensured. Put on the face shield. You can tie
tighten the face shield at the back using the ratchet. To adjust the air outlet, open the visor and select your setting via the flap at the front of the headpiece. Then close the visor. Pull the ceiling cuff under your chin. Connect the breathing hose. Make sure that the blower unit is switched on and that the breathing air supply is thus ensured. Close the fastening hooks of the neck straps and place the straps over your head and position it at the back of the neck. Position the mask over the mouth and nose and pull the head cradle over your head. Pull the straps uniformly until the mask fits securely and comfortably. Connect the breathing hose. Make sure that the blower unit is switched on and that the breathing air supply is thus ensured. Open the straps as far as possible. Direct the mask towards the face. First, insert your chin into the chin piece of the mask. Tighten the straps until the mask fits snugly and securely. First, tighten both neck straps then both temple straps and tighten front strap if necessary. First remove the head protection. Then switch off the blower unit by pressing the green button for approximately two seconds. Dismount the system and clean the components according to the instructions for use. The breathing filter must be disposed of properly after use.